This brief video explains the functions of a diplex filter in a hybrid fiber coax network. In addition, it describes the legacy problems these filters pose to the cable companies as they attempt to recoup bandwidth for use upstream in the DOCSIS 3.0 standard. Here is the frequency map in, used today in most legacy hybrid fiber coax networks in North America. The low end of the frequency band from 5 MHz to 42 MHz is currently used for upstream transmission. Uses for this frequencies today consists of billing information for video on demand and other legacy applications. Downstream, frequencies from 47 MHz to 1 GHz is used for cable TV transmission. Although two paths are shown, in reality, a single coax connects the subscriber to a cable head end. Here we see a hybrid fiber coax architecture. Individual coaxes go from the subscriber to a fiber node, where they're converted to a fiber optic link for transmission to a cable head end. Inside the fiber node, there is equipment that's present that allows information to be transmitted in both directions on the coaxes that go to the subscriber. Specifically, the presence of a diplex filter allows such bidirectional transmission. The diplex filter isolates frequencies in both directions, allowing higher frequencies to travel towards the subscriber and lower frequencies at the low end of the spectrum to be taken from the subscriber and transmitted back to the head end. The presence of older diplex filters and supporting amplifiers represent a problem for the cable companies because they are often hardwired to certain frequencies to support the existing map and cannot easily be retuned to support new frequencies as is required for the new DOCSIS 3.0 standard. In this standard, the cable companies would ideally like to reclaim the portion of the bandwidth from 42 MHz to 85 MHz, which is currently used for downstream transmission, to be reconfigured for upstream use to increase the speeds that they provide to their subscribers for upstream transmission.